Does Moses enter the promised land? Previously, we looked at how names were changed in Greek. Just like Lazarus had an us added to the end of the name to make Eleazar a male name and some vowels pronounced for Greek pronunciation to make Lazarus, Joshua also would be written differently. In fact, it was written as Jesus. In Hebrew, Joshua was, was pronounced Yeshua. So, when, uh, when written in Greek, it was written as Jesus. Uh, this name also has an amazing meaning. Jehovah saves. Why is it important to know that Jesus' name actually was if we're going to talk about Moses? Well, Joshua, the son of Nun, plays an important role in the story of Moses. So, who is Moses? Oh, yeah, Moses is the author of the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, and the law. He was a deliverer. He brought the people out of bondage. His name means to draw out. Because he was pulled out of the water, he then drew God's people out of Egypt. This act of deliverance was achieved through the shedding of blood, the firstborn of Egypt's, and the unblemished lambs were slain so that they could be free. This deliverer also represents the law. Why was the law given? The first parts of the law were given as they were leaving Egypt to cause the people to remember where their deliverance came from. By the time the Ten Commandments were given, the people were already free. Why would a free people need a law? In Exodus 19, God tells us why. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my commandment, then ye shall be a particular treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. By following the law, the people of Israel will become a particular treasure to God. What a marvelous treasure it would be if they were a holy nation. God wants the people to follow his law. But another very important lesson is taught with the relationship of Moses and Joshua. In Deuteronomy 1, Moses speaks to the Lord and tells them that the Lord has said unto him, Surely there shall not one of these men of this evil generation see the good land, which I swear to give unto your fathers. Save Caleb, a name which means faithful, the son of Jephunneh, he shall see it, and to him I will give the land that he troth upon and to his children, because he hath wholly followed the Lord. Also, the Lord was angry with me for your sake, though also thou also shalt not go in thither. But Joshua, the son of Nun, which standeth before thee, he shall go in thither, encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Moses was never going to take the Lord's people into the promised land, because Joshua would cause them to inherit it. The law cannot save us, and for our sake, God did not let Moses enter the promised land as a final similitude to teach us that the law will not save us, but that salvation comes only through Jehovah's salvation. Jesus died for us that we may be saved through his blood. In the end, eternal life comes through Jesus Christ. My email is brother3tyler at gmail.com. Feel free to email me if you have any questions as well. Also, check out the website at bomschallenge.org. Until next time.